Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Abby for New Era. I just wanted to talk about a video I had made about a year ago <laughs> and this video is really 10 things to do in British Columbia during the pandemic. Obviously I know the pandemic is gradually leaving by God's grace. I know a lot of people are getting vaccinated and people are still very cautious about what to do, where to go. So I just wanted to highlight a few of the places I went to uh, during my 2020 vacation in British Columbia. All of these and places I went to were very open and very active as of September 2020. These are things to do in British Columbia, especially during a pandemic. I hope you guys enjoy it. One of the first things you could do when you visit BC, especially if you're driving, is visit Golden and visit Revelstoke. So I'm going to talk about what we did in Golden. One of the few things we did in Golden, because we were in transit, we stopped at the Kicking Horse River. It's just this beautiful river with lots of rocks, a nice little bridge. We just stopped there and we just walked around to stretch our legs, which you can do as well. And then the second thing we did was stop at the Beer Falls Creek. This little creek, it has like uh, some waterfalls. So we went there and just did a quick hike. So guys, the next stop after we visited Golden was Revelstoke. So if you're driving from Golden to Revelstoke is about one hour, 45 minutes. I really enjoyed visiting the Revelstoke Railway Museum. So if you guys have seen pictures on Instagram about Canadian trains, it's red and this red train is just like driving through the snow covered mountain. I love that image every time I see it on Instagram about Canada. Entry fee was $10. It's a museum with like old trains, even a wax telegraph office. The next thing I really liked at Ravelstoke was visiting the Ravelstoke Lake. It was beautiful. A lot of people were camping under the stars, especially by the lake. Really nice, calm and idyllic. The third thing I did in Revelstoke was going to the meadows in the sky. The meadows in the sky is really nice because you could hike around, you could see the mountains, the peaks. So it's really nice though because you get to like explore, hike around a little bit and this was definitely during the pandemic. So moving on from Revelstoke, the next place we stopped at was Kelowna. So Kelowna, everybody knows Kelowna is beautiful. Everywhere you go to, there's like a vineyard here, an orchard there, a farm there. There's like so much in Kelowna. You'll find a ton of wineries as you're driving along. When you're booking, you can actually book a tour of the vineyard itself, also wine tasting. Absolute next thing I loved in Kelowna, which was fabulous, so good, is fruit picking. So we went to Vernon, BC and we picked some apples you get like a 10 pound bag and then you can fill the bag with apples to your heart's content and you also get a tractor train ride something else i really got to do when i visited bc and Kelowna was horse riding there are a number of horse ranches that you could visit and go for a ride some of them also offer lessons after my horseback riding i went to the maria trestles and just walked around i just want to insert quickly here especially if you're traveling i feel it's really important that if you're traveling especially if you're not familiar with the place that you guys make time to do the things that you want to do when there's daylight so this the reason i say this is because when i traveled i traveled with a girlfriend and she loves to hike I do too, but not as much as her. So even if it was really late, she insisted on going into the forest and that really annoyed me because it was late, it was dark. We don't know the kind of animals that are there. And a lot of people when they were coming out forest kept wondering why I was just hanging around there and why my friend was going in. Take your safety, your personal safety and other people's safety. It's kind of paramount. So just take it very seriously. Don't go out in the forest leaving someone behind and don't go out in the forest if you're alone because you're obviously subjecting yourself to a lot of danger. Okay guys, now Kelowna is done. The next stop was Nanaimo. So Nanaimo actually is a little island off Vancouver. To actually get there, we needed to take the ferry and we used the BC ferries. It takes about one hour, 35 minutes to get to Nanaimo via ferry. When we got to Nanaimo, luckily we got complimentary 
kayak rentals then we went kayaking on the north pacific ocean hi guys so i'm actually paddling in nanaimo we're doing a kayak adventure so kayaking on the north pacific ocean is definitely something you should do and then the next day we drove to tofino so everybody who knows tofino knows that a lot of people come from around the world to come surfing in tofino now i don't know how to surf i don't even know how to swim but i found something that i loved doing in tofino which is whale watching so tofino is very sort of touristy it's a very small city you had a wide variety of uh, tour companies that would drive you out into the Pacific Ocean to go and whale watch. So we went whale watching and it was really nice. We saw some seal kelp, sea otters, sea lions. We saw a whale and you can see the hump, really slight hump. So we just spent about three hours on the boats. When we got back on land, we went to Taco Finos. I hear that this is the best place to get tacos. It's like a pop-up trailer. So you go to Taco Fino for tacos. Another thing I did when I was in Tofino because I really wanted to experience all Tofino had to offer, I've been like a small place, was actually to go to the beach. Sun Queen Beach in Tofino. So I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like really quick. It's beautiful, it's pretty empty. You know, there's a really nice sunset right now. So yeah, Tofino looks good, looks amazing. Okay, remember, like, share, and definitely subscribe. So yeah, make sure if you're looking for, you know, you want something nice and chill and calm, visit the Tonquin Beach and you should really have a nice time. The next day, we came back from Nanaimo we came back to Vancouver and we stayed at the Harbour Front Hotel which that gives you a view by the harbour and this was a view we had every morning. At Vancouver we just explored the harbour front itself, it was nice, so it was really pretty. The next day we headed to Kamloops. We were going to drive to Kamloops but we wanted to go through the Scenic 7. So this is just a different route. If you remember we had come from Revelstoke, Stoke, Kelowna, Vancouver, right? But now we wanted to go Vancouver, Kamloops, then Jasper via the Columbia Ice Fields. So to get to Kamloops, we decided to go through the Scenic 7. So the Scenic 7 route is also known as Lockheed Highway or the Scenic 7 Route 7. And really it's a collection of small towns. The names of these towns are Coquitlam. We stopped at Maple Ridge. Uh, at Maple Ridge, we stopped at some farmer's market to just get like some munches for the road, some snacks as well. We also stopped at Mission. We also stopped at a little town called Agassiz and Kent. Then after that, we stopped at the Harrison Hot Springs. The Hot Springs at that point was actually closed. We couldn't find it, but we saw this lake. So it was really nice to stop for a little bit and just relax. And then finally, we drove through Hope and just walked around a little bit and then got back in the, into the car and went straight for Kamloops. At Kamloops, Kamloops is really nice. It's a nice little quiet town. We went to the scenic viewpoint. So this is the Kamloops skyline and it's a little bit too smoky today. It looks so pretty and I just wanted to show you guys. Which is just this viewpoint where you can actually see overlooking the city. And at the time we went though, there was this fire from California. So the air was actually quite smoky, but you can really see that it's pretty. After the scenic viewpoint, we stopped by the Riverside Beach, which was really nice as well. Just a nice Hi. distraction from the journey. So I think with British Columbia generally, it has a lot of lakes, beaches, rivers, ponds. There's water everywhere because it's, it's a coastal province. So we ended our journey at Kamloops. This is not the end though, because after Kamloops, we went all the way to Jasper and Jasper too was fantastic. So thanks guys for watching again. I hope you enjoyed this video that has been a long time coming. Remember to hit the subscribe on your way out and I will see you next week. Bye.